Denmark Primary School has an active Waste Watchers Committee, and together with the enthusiastic encouragement of Principal Brian Lee, they've undertaken a major energy saving project. Recently, something new appeared on the school roof. I saw them on the roof getting put on by some electricity workers and stuff like that. We have the power from the sun to use and share. We have clean power for our school and some to spare. Solar panels on the roof. This is not some kind of spoof. It's just living, working proof. We have the power. The energy in the sunlight that hits the panels gives the energy to the electrons in the silicon that make up the panels. And those high energy electrons then travel along the wires, making a circuit and they provide electricity to the appliances that we use. Skilled tradesmen and electricians worked to fix the panels on the roof in the cold and rainy weather so it was a bit hard for them. In Australia the sun always shines from the north so to get the most of the solar panels they have to face the north. The more sunshine we get the more electricity we get. The panel should supply about a third of the school's needs when it is open but in the holidays electricity will be sold. There's a thing called an inverter, which converts the electricity produced by the panels to the alternating current used by the national electricity we use to run all our electrical equipment. There are meters and switches so that the school can sell electricity to the local grid and other things that make the system safe to use. So that's 267 watts. On a bright sunny day, it would make 2,000 watts. It records exactly how much power has been used at various times of the day and so the computer can actually collect all that information up and so you can see where we use most of the, generated most of the power, which is usually in the middle of the day. And it can also show you on a graph how the various days of the week and how much power is generated and even weeks and months. So you get a really good picture about when you're generating power and when you're not generating much. However much electricity the panels produce, it is important to be careful that we only use as much electricity as we really need. Do we have the power to live and not play fair? We have the power to live Now that the panels are in place and supplying power to the school and to other users on the local electricity grid, Denmark Primary School can be proud that it's helping to reduce carbon emissions. We have